There are, like, so Afterburner is, a, is an acrobatic move that launches you forward in whatever direction you're facing. It's actually really great to use in combination with um, Crater, because you can launch yourself up in the air and slam down to the ground. Looks like Xeno just got put into a match that is currently ongoing. Yep. Yeah, this match has started. It looks like my team has two bases, A and C. Uh, this is a capture and hold map, so there's three harvesters. And when you capture them, they start generating resources for your team. The first team is 600 wins. So if you look at the top, we've got A and C. Uh, the other team has B, but B is blinking because one of the uh, one of the cool things about our capture and hold uh, game type is that we have a thing that we call a boost unit that, that will land periodically in the middle of the map. You pick it up and carry it like a flag to a base, to one of the harvesters you own, and then they generate something like double resources for, I don't know, something like 15 seconds. So even though they only had one base, they really caught up and scored there because they grabbed the boost unit and brought it back to their one base. Uh, at least one good thing about you joining that match is Superior is in your match. Is in or isn't in? Is not. He's Yay! In mine. I bet he's crying. He is. He's already bitching in, uh, in chat. <laughs> If he, if he mysteriously finds that he can't log into beta tomorrow, I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure nobody can log into beta tomorrow. Yeah, we're getting chased around the map, so I decided to just put my turret down to defend me because we are losing all of a sudden really badly. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Right. Offensive engineer. I don't know anybody. Target. I'm gonna grab this ammo because if I pick this up, I get some more. Uh, Are there? there are currently five battle frames that you can wear. Yes, they're all human. Uh, we have plans for more battle frames, so keep your eyes out for announcements for those. Currently, you can't play anything but human. And I do say currently. Looks like there's a fight going on here. Holy crap. Well, that's a dreadnought and a medic coming in here, so we just lost A. That's as good as lost. <coughs> hey, I leveled up at least. Still a pretty close game. Uh, the other team has B and C, though. Looks like the boost unit's open. No. Uh, somebody doesn't like the primary weapon. Can they focus on the secondary weapons? Um, you know, each has their own little use. You can use any, pretty much any secondary weapon on any battle frame. But uh, you're definitely going to find that you can customize your primary weapon with different alt fires, uh, rate of fire, reload speeds, all those kind of things. So I think you'll find that you'll want to want to use your primary fire as it's the more powerful weapon. But there are certain situations where you definitely want to use... Well, I set up shop in A. It doesn't look like A really needs me right now. Oh, it looks like we lost Phobos. We can try to reconnect on Skype. Yeah, so the, the turret starts at level 1. Uh, and right away I dropped it and then upgraded it to level 2 because I had some wrenches. That's the that's the resource that you use to upgrade your deployables. Uh, and uh, engineers can get those by picking up ammo, which is why I just left the base to go grab some ammo and come back. I don't really need wrenches because I only have one deployable right now. I only have one ability. But I figured I'd stock up anyway. Phobos, are you back on? Yep. Okay. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to try to take A. I think it should probably go help take another base. Uh, open world randomized events. Uh, will you obtain a quest if you're in the area? Solo Flare is asking. Uh, so the way open world events happen is that they, uh, they're, they're pretty much random. Uh, there are certain things that are used to determine whether an event will happen and we'll get more in details with that when we talk about our open world and when we show off more of our open world um, but you will get a, an alert if you're in the area telling you that the city is under attack or that the uh, chosen are invading or something's going on so that you can head back to town and take care of that well, looks like the enemy team has the basically the entire center of the map locked down which is why my team's struggling to not only hold a base but to get to any other ones that's a good setup they had uh, one or two engineers in the middle. They had a few recons. It's nasty stuff. So the boost unit just appeared, but we don't even have a base to bring it to. <laughs> we should fix that. <laughs> yeah, you're going to lose pretty quick. I, I'm going to lose, yeah. This is not good. Uh, you can see the guy over there carrying it around. <laughs> see that. No, I'm down. Uh, they're about to win. Such is life. Couple questions here. Um, do you uh, can you have multiple characters, and when do you name your character? Characters named at character creation. You can have multiple characters. There's not really a need for one in Firefall though, because you can play any battle frame.